Hi, and welcome back to another quick and easy watercolor painting. Uh, we're going to do some wet on wet here at the beginning. I'm going to put a, about the top two thirds of the page is wet. And I'm going to put some blue on here. You know, just streak it across wherever it is that you want your sky to be. Now I'm not going to rinse this off. I'm going to leave this just the way it is. I'm going to pick up a little bit of Payne's Gray. It's just a light wash. And we're going to put some pine trees off in the distance here. And we're not going to let those be, uh, they're not going to be very visible. So don't worry about, this is just sort of a ghosty kind of an image that's way back in the background. All right. We're going to have a bit of like a rocky outcrop here and a bit of a rocky outcrop here. Uh, I live in Canada and we have this um, area that's called the Canadian Shield that's very, very rocky. And I'm going to take the rest of the Payne's Gray that's on this brush and just sort of swoop it across there. I'm going to pick up a little bit more Payne's Gray and just give us a few more, more intense trees. Uh, but still nothing that's really of any shape or anything so far. And we're going to let that bleed off into there. I'm going to take this Payne's Gray. A little bit more on here for this rocky area. Just like that. All right, so I'm not going to rinse this brush off. I'm going to put it into this Sienna. Just going to do that. A few areas across there. And again, we're just going to let that all bleed. I'm going to pick up a little bit more Sienna. Just add a few more trees. Again, this is all going to bleed off into the distance. So don't worry about it too much at this point. Nice, that's not turning out too bad. All right, so I'm going to pick up a little bit more of this. But I'm going to pick up some Sienna that's right out of the palette. A little bit more intense color. I'm going to put that in a few areas like that. Right. You see, I'm dapping the, dapping the brush on there. I'm not making any brush strokes at all. I'm just touching it on. Okay. I'm going to rinse that out really well. And I'm going to pick up some yellow ochre. Just going to put some yellow ochre into a few spots like that and we can make a touch in a few places for some yellow ochre trees off in the background also okay all right at this point i really just need this to all dry and then we'll come back all right that turned out pretty cool back there where uh, those trees are we're going to put a little bit of yellow ochre in here now. We're just going to sort of move our brush back and forth like that. Okay, don't, um, don't try to influence it too much. Now I'm going to get rid of this yellow ochre. And I'm going to pick up this sap green. And we're going to put a few, just a few Uh, indications of where some pine trees may be across here and I'm sort of just looking for spaces that I could install something like that and pick up a little bit more sap green put it across the bottom here now I'm gonna put some of this sap green into this yellow ochre across here because I want it to look like there's um, you know, I want it to look like there's some green grass or green kind of scrubland in and amongst that. And you see how I've left those white spaces? Just leave them. Don't, uh, you know, don't get in there and try to influence those white spaces too much. I'm going to pick up a little bit more yellow ochre and drop that into a few places there. Same with here. All right, that's not too bad. Now I need you need all of this to dry, but 
the last thing that I'm going to do before it dries is we're going to drop a little bit of salt into these tree lines and a little bit of salt across here where we just put that yellow ochre and that green in. All right, let's let this dry and see what we get. All right, so look at what that salt did across here. That's pretty cool. And what that salt did there. Look at those marks. I love how it looks like all these ghosty trees way, way back into the distance. Let's see what happens when we put our mat on here. All right, that's kind of, that's pretty cool, I think. I like it. I like how there's some, you know, looks like a rocky outcrop here. Yeah, that turned out really well. All right, if you're currently a subscriber, thanks a lot. If you're not currently a subscriber, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks a lot for joining me today. And if you hang around here for another minute, I'm going to show you some stuff that I'm going to do with my pen. Hopefully make it... Uh, little bit better not always better but sometimes better I like adding these sort of jaggedy little lines across, you know, some of the darker areas and sort of starts to make some of the darker areas stand out a little bit more or maybe even look a little bit more like a rocky outcrop. And black pen is really effective for making things stand out. Sometimes drawing your attention away from a mistake that may have been made. But yeah, that's... Uh, you know, adding some hatching or some cross hatching, adding a few lines for, you know, indicating where maybe some brush might be. But, you know, really not touching any of that stuff in the background back there. So, you know, you kind of end up with that. And that one's pretty cool. I think actually, I might actually sign that one because that actually turned out really well, I think. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to know what you think of it. Drop me a comment in the comment section. Let me know where you're from. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you have an awesome day painting. We'll see you again real soon.